Hello, we're going to talk about stretching watercolour paper. If you're new to watercolour painting, you may have heard some artists talk about stretching the paper. Um, you don't have to stretch paper. You can paint on loose paper. I often do it by go away painting. It's not practical to take loads and loads of, of, of heavy boards. So I'll just take one board and I'll pin loose paper to the board. So it, it's, it's possible and it's fine to paint without stretching it. The reason that I and many others like stretched paper is because it's an absolute joy to work on. The paper behaves differently once it's stretched. It stays absolutely drum flat and, and it's an absolute pleasure. It allows more control of the wash. If your paper's all cockled and bumped, sometimes a wash will run into the troughs and, and it, spoils, it spoils your intention of what you want to do. To stretch paper, you don't need much. You need a board. This is um, this is plasterboard that you put on the ceiling. Just plasterboard. It'll hold the paper. This is MDF board, um, which does the same job. It has to be a certain thickness because once paper starts to shrink, and the principle behind stretching paper is that when you add water to paper, it expands. Um, and if you add water at different rates to different parts of the paper, it expands at different rates, hence your, your cockling. Um, so once it expands and you've fixed it with a tape, which we'll talk about soon, it contracts on drying. And look at, um, look at this board. Can you see the curve in that board? That's what the paper has done upon drying. It's pulled that board into a curve. So you need boards and you need tape to hold the paper down. This is masking tape as used in decorated. It's no good, it's not strong enough. It's fine for putting a border around the paper. They actually used some masking tape at the bottom of there to get the base off. So it's lovely to form a little border. And you can see a little white strip around the painting. That's because I use masking tape to stop water getting under the gum strip as it sometimes does. But you can't use masking tape for stretching. It's simply not strong enough. It comes in different types, this gum strip, as I called it, to hold the paper down. It's the old type, sort of parcel tape, that you've got to get wet to apply. Um, this is a cheaper version, which didn't work for you. You can see how much of it is left. It just didn't do the job. So I always tend to use butterfly gum strip. It, it, it's good stuff, and it does, it does the job. So you've got your board. You've got your gum strip, and I use a bit of tissue, which will become obvious when we stretch the paper, because I dry the edges of the paper. And for the gum strip, I run it across a damp sponge. All right, again, this will become evident as we actually stretch the paper. So there's the equipment, a board, some gum strip, an old sponge and a plate, and something to dry the edge of the paper with, all right? Let's get on now with the actual stretching of the paper. Okay, this um, this is a sheet of ash. It's been soaked for about five minutes. It's 140 pound. If it was 300, I would soak it for longer, seven to 10 minutes, but usually five or six does it for 140 pound. I'm gonna lay this on the board now, and then we'll, we'll carry on. So here's the paper on the board, um, it's marked with A to tell me the right side, low with ash. You can actually um, paint on both. Now the first thing to do is I quickly take the excess water off, alright? Whoops, don't do that. Usually, when I'm taking the excess water off, I hold the corners that's to stop the paper jumping about. That means that this isn't as wet as the full face. The next thing, I take my gum tape, rip to size, and we lay it on top of this and gently pull it through. All right, and it should be tacky. You don't want this absolutely saturated, you see. Half on, half off. Press it down nice and hard. And that's, that's it really, another strip, 
the lid on. Put a lid through. Half and half. Short sides. And I'll, I'll stretch, you know, 10 or so boards at a time. Whilst I'm stretching one, I'll have another board soak in. And it doesn't take that long. And for the quality of surface that you're then going to paint on, you know, it's really, really worth it. Now, after I've stretched it, you sometimes find that it cockles. If I look at this in two or three minutes, it'll be cockled because the paper continues to expand. But that's not critical because this has been soaking for five minutes. When I do a wet and wet wash, it doesn't get as thoroughly wet as this. Um, so it works fine. And there we are, the last thing I, I'll do, I'll label it as Arsh 140, rough. And uh, that's the process. That takes uh, overnight to dry now. And then it's drum tight and ready to use.